What is up, guys? We are back with Skills to Mills, episode two. And uh, I have some interesting stuff planned for this video, so I really cannot wait just to dive right in. So the first thing I really wanted to do was actually thieve rogue chests. And the reason I really want to do this method is simply because I used to do it back in the day when it was first released a couple years ago. And I remember it being pretty interesting, being pretty fun. And, you know, there's a little bit of excitement to it because it is the wilderness and you can die. So let me buy some gear with the money we have and I'll see you guys in a second. So what I'm doing now is pretty much trying to get as much of a prayer bonus as I possibly can. So with that, I bought proselyte, white gloves, white boots, Samurai stole, and a crozier. And also, I just bought a construction cape because I know that gives plus four prayer bonus. And I also really wanted the unlimited teleports to my house. But if we look at the stuff we just bought, it's all incredibly cheap. You know, I didn't even spend 40k. Now I know I'm gonna need some prayer potions. So right now, let's just buy around 10. We already have stamina pots. And sharks are pretty cheap right now. So let's just buy, you know, 20, around 20 sharks. Keep the expenses as small as possible for right now. So we're still rocking a pretty good cash stack, which is awesome. So I'm not too sure on my inventory setup. It's been an extremely long time since I've been there. But right now I have four prayer pots, four stamina pots, eight sharks, and an Anna Carl teleport to get there really, really quickly. What I really like about this method is just that it's very straightforward and simple. Um, it's about 500k an hour, and you know there's not much thought to it. You just gotta run around and search these chests for traps. Just gotta make sure you're praying the entire time and that you have run of energy. Um, but other than that, it's incredibly straightforward, and it does make a decent amount of money for something so simple. And 84 thieving really isn't that hard to get. Thieving is a skill that you can make decent amount of money from, so if you guys are low thieving, definitely think about training it. So I just got done with 45 minutes of looting the chests in the wilderness, and as you can see, I only got two dragon stones. I think that was pretty bad luck, but everything else seems to be alright in terms of loot, so let's start up in the price checker. So that is about 400k made in 45 minutes. Now I do think I got a little lucky again with the dragon stone, but we're going to do a lot more of this, probably a couple more hours. So let's jump right into it and do some more trips, and we'll, you know, we'll see how lucky I get. So next trip, we actually did much better with 6 dragon stones, 80 sharks. It again was around 45 minutes, because that's actually about how long 4 stamina potions last. So when we pop this in there... Boom, we're at 525k for just this trip. So we're just shy of a mil um, in an hour and a half, which is pretty awesome. And of course, while I'm doing the rogue chest, I'm going to keep buying battle staffs every day and farming toad flaxes because that's how we're going to bring in that steady flow of income. So this trip took just over an hour um, and we got 630k. It is absolutely crazy. So 1.5 mil has been made in under three hours over at the rogue chests in the wildy and this isn't the exact amount because there were also some coins it was probably about 50k also that i got from the chests but i just decided not to include them in here since i did not know the exact amount so i didn't really feel like doing rogue chests anymore as they were kind of getting a little bland so i decided to change what i'm doing and i've been doing master farmers for about 30 minutes now and i already have eight renar seeds two toad flax and four watermelon and honestly i decided to do this because renar seeds were a boatload of money and I mean I made this in 30 minutes so I don't really know if this is good or bad but we're gonna keep doing it for another couple hours and we're gonna see just how much money we can make so just doing some thieving and I killed a farmer by mistake and it dropped gardening boots which apparently are fuck it moved well apparently it's a rare drop from farmers and that's kind of funny they I didn't even know these things existed um, but apparently they've been out since 2005 so one of the really cool things about Master Farmers is that you could trap them in this corner um, just north of Ardune and you could just spam click them and you don't even have to look at the screen at all. The only bad thing is that he has to walk to the spot himself but it's not that rare for it to happen and he stays there for a decent amount of time until he despawns outside of the building. But for a good like 10 minutes or so you could just stand here and spam click on him and not have to worry about anything really so that's pretty cool guys two hours has been completed at master farmers and these are the loot i got now before i price check it i just want to say that i did use the rogue outfit uh what it does if you have full it doubles all pickpocketing loot that you get so just keep in mind if you do not have the rogues outfit everything would be halved and also i do have 90 thieving so let's just throw everything up there <laughs> let's take off these boots 
Um, so in two hours, I'm just shy of one mil. Now, I did look at a bunch of guides and, you know, I did a little bit of research and I did find that you could actually make more than this. So I think I did get a little unlucky, but that is all right, guys. Just shy of 500k per hour. That is still really, really good. So you know what? I am very content with that. The bank was starting to look a little cluttered. So I'm going to sell all the seeds that I've got. I'm going to sell all the loot that I got from the rogue chest and also the, the nature runes that I did craft. You know, just trying to clean up the make a little bit, get cash from this so I can spend it on other money-making methods. Um, I'm probably going to keep the toad flax seeds, so as I am still farming toad flax in every episode behind the scenes. So yeah, I'm going to keep those, but everything else I'm going to sell. I'm going to see how much money I can get from all of it. Check it out. Just sold it all, and we got just shy of 4 mil. That is pretty sick. The series is coming together pretty nicely, so let's throw that in the current cash stack that we have right now. Um, now, actually, I'm going to do one more farm run, and then we're going to do a price check of everything in the bank and see how much we are currently at. So we killed it with that last farm run, guys. So let's throw everything in the bank right now. Let's just bank everything, and we're going to do a price check of all the things we have in the bank right now. So when we throw everything in the price checker, we get, wow, just over 7 mil. That is pretty cool. That is awesome. But this is going to wrap up episode 2. So if you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more content. The next episode should be out very shortly. And uh, yeah, guys, expect other content from me as well, maybe some live streams. But thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one.